Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another speed build. And we are doing another kind of sort of micro build, okay? You can tell from the title that we are doing a tiny little cafe and bookstore. And I'm really, really excited about this one. Now, if you guys do have the Tiny Living uh, stuff pack, you are probably aware that the Tiny Living lot trait or lot type, I should say, is reserved only for residential lots. So technically speaking, this little cafe slash bookstore is not going to reap any lot benefits because it's really tiny, <laughs> but I tried to make it as tiny as possible. Now it would not technically fit under the umbrella of a micro build because it is, I think, 36 tiles instead of 32 tiles. I'm not 100% on that, but you can see it's pretty small, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock myself here. I think I did a pretty good job considering how freaking small it is. <laughs> it is very, very small. And we are building in Windenburg. This is the Cottage AMC lot. It's my favorite lot in Windenburg, which is why I know the name of it. <laughs> it is so adorable. It's right near like this river and this bridge and it's tucked away, I don't know, just right off the main road. It's on its own little dirt road. It's so cute. And I thought it would be the perfect perfect place to build this lot, which was actually a suggestion from one of you all over on the community tab. Though I believe the suggestion was for a bookstore slash plant shop. I adapted it just a little tiny bit. It ended up going with the bookstore slash cafe because I just feel as though it makes a lot like this a little bit more um, purposeful and like meaningful and useful in the game itself. Now, Technically speaking, I had to set this as a cafe though for that to function. So this is a cafe lot, but I put like little book displays out here and there's a few different bookcases inside the shop as well. So at least your Sim could come here and like get coffee and sit and read a book and we can just kind of sort of pretend that they're buying books. I don't know. I know it doesn't really satisfy both needs of the lot and kind of what I named it, but I didn't want to set it as a retail lot because then you'd have to hire a barista for what, a hundred simoleons or something like that. So I had to make a decision. I decided to run it as a cafe. You can do whatever you'd like if you download it from the gallery, but you can see that the exterior is coming together. I thought it was so cute. I thought it was adorable. And I was working off of a reference image on Pinterest. If I do have it, which I might not, I will put it on screen for you. But if I don't have it, um, I think I looked up like tiny cottage, literally just tiny cottage. If you search that on even Google images or Pinterest, this will be on here somewhere, something similar to it. Now, the only thing is that the reference image had a smokestack or a chimney right in the front near this little like pop out window thing that I have here, but I decided to just put it on top of the roof because it was looking a little bit awkward in the front and I just used the ivy instead. But since this is such a small little space, I was able to play around with the rest of the lot, which I'm trying to learn how to do that in different builds because micro homes are so tiny. Like <laughs> you have so much more space to work with, even on like a 20 by 15, which I believe this is a 20 by 20, you have so much space to play around with when the home is so tiny. So what I decided to do is create a pond in the front. I thought that would be very charming. And then there's that little like public garden, which I thought was really, really sweet. It got me super excited. So your Sims could come here and just like plant in the garden if they wanted. They can sit on this bench that I put near the pond and watch the ducks. <laughs> I didn't allow fishing because I just, I didn't want it to become like a little fishing spot per se, but you can do that if you would like. I was also trying to play around with terrain tools here, but I did not like how it was looking at all. It just looked awkward. I was trying to create a little bit more like the depth and variation on the lot itself, but I didn't like how it was looking. So I tried to do like a platform for some outdoor seating, which I also really didn't like. And then I tried to build a gazebo, but the normal gazebo size that I would typically do Oh my gosh, it was like almost bigger than the build. Like <laughs> it was almost bigger than the actual cafe. I'm like, that's not gonna work. That looks really, really awkward. And if I made it any smaller, it's kind of like, what's the point? I don't know, I could have tried, but I tried a few different things and I kept it all in so you guys could see the process. But I ended up taking out this archway from Cottage Living and I just kind of created a stone fenced in area for the outdoor, the outdoor seating. 
and I broke up the fence with some shrubs and some different kinds of fencing, I think, mainly shrubs, I think. And I was going to bring it around the entire build too, but I just didn't like how that looked. It looks a little bit too awkwardly closed off. So I didn't continue with that. I did do a little bit of landscaping off camera as well because it actually took me a really long time to build this, like a really long time. Maybe I should say a really long time for a lot this size because it probably took me a couple of hours to do this, maybe like two or three hours. And considering that I speed up my footage by like five or six, this is like what, an 11 minute video? It, it looks like it took me an hour, but it took me double that time because I was so indecisive on everything I was doing. And a lot of the landscaping around the pond that I did ended up requiring the use of the tool mod, which of course is amazing, but it did take a little bit more time. But here are the outside dining tables. So you could come out here and just enjoy being outside with all of this beautiful landscaping and the rose bushes and everything and enjoy your coffee or your scone or something. I don't know, whatever you'd like from this little cafe. And you can see that there is that bench in the landscaping around the pond as well, because I wanted that to look a lot more natural than it does without those things. And I used this adorable little debug light from Cottage Living and I put a little lantern, that's what they are, little lanterns on each table. Now that did render at least one seat unusable or at least that spot on the table, but I didn't think it was a huge deal. I also added them to some of these posts around the fencing in the slot. And that's pretty much it for the exterior aside from just some landscaping here in the back, just carrying through exactly what I did everywhere else. I used like two or three plants, which really isn't really isn't that much. It's less than what I would typically do. And now we're moving on to the interior. So as you all might know, the cafe items, or the requirements I should say, including this entire freaking bar thing, are required for a cafe lot. Now this is a huge item and I knew it was going to be, I think a little bit of a problem considering how much space I didn't have in this build, but I made it work and I ended up making the space I think pretty cozy considering. Okay, so just bear with me. Now, since that is such a huge counter, I knew it was gonna take up a lot of space. I knew I wanted there to be some seating and I wanted it to be sofa seating because I wanted it to be a really cozy place for you to like come and read, right? So what I did is because this uh, counter thing has like matching counters and cabinets from base game, which is kind of nice, um, I decided to carry through the counters and cabinets to build like a big built-in unit. And I think I've done this before. I did it with a pub that I built at one point in Windenburg. It was similar to this. I, it's not identical, of course, but it, it was similar to this. And I toyed around with a few different things because this wall over here was looking a little bit awkward. So I, I tried kind of carrying the cab the cabinetry. I don't know why I stumbled over that word, but I tried carrying it through over there. It looked a little bit awkward. Tried moving a few things around here. It was a great opportunity to use that a wall decoration from get together with all these little coffee items on it. I thought that was such a good opportunity, such a good idea. I was very proud of myself. And I also added a few clutter items on to the counters as well, just to make it look as though they've got some supplies back there to make coffee and tea. I don't believe I put a tea magic brewer in this cafe because technically a barista would not go ahead and use it or did I? I did. I did put one here. Well, the barista is not going to use it, but your sim could awkwardly go back there as not an employee and make tea if they would like. <laughs> That's kind of the thought. Um, but I did put a few different just clutter items around there just to make it look like it is used and I'll say lived in even though this is not a house. Kind of looks like a house, but it's not a house. And I added two more bookshelves over here and I tried to put a table with a couple of seats, but that would really limit the amount of seating I could add here. So I ended up putting a couch. I used this one from Cats and Dogs. And then I ended up putting one armchair and then a coffee table. So you have like this cozy little nook where you could sit and read and enjoy your coffee. But that's pretty much it for seating on the interior because it's so small and there is only one bathroom as well. It is a full bathroom for Sims of any gender identity because we love that. So anyone can use that bathroom, of course. And I just added this kind of like distressed rug from werewolves. I added this decoration as well from cats and dogs with like the suitcase and the stacked books. I used it in the corner, okay? But I'm really proud of this. I also used two of them underneath the coffee table and I lowered them into the ground with the tool mod. So it looks like there are stacks of books underneath the coffee table. I was so proud of myself and I hope you like it. It looks great. <laughs> and I got to use the high back love seat from Cats and Dogs, which I never 
ever get to use. I was thrilled. I thought it looked really nice over there in that corner. And then we just end up decorating the bathroom, which you guessed it, has everything you need, has a toilet, has a sink. And we use some items from Get to Work, like the, um, what, the paper towel dispenser thing and the soap dispenser. Super exciting, I know. But that is pretty much it for this build. I hope you all enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Yesterday out in the yard There on our backs Where the sky was so dark Watching the satellites Passing like dust in the air And speaking of planets And distance and time I reach for your hand And you reach for mine And I knew that wherever you were I would want to be there Your eyes seem to a mysterious spell I felt the uprising a fury